If their own flesh and blood do not support them, then why should we? You guys have got to see what Kamala's dad just said. You're not going to want to miss this. <laughs> this like a human walking corpse was actually called the resident of the White House for a little while. And it's so funny. Can you imagine? Look at how bad he was doing in the polls against Donald Trump. This is Donald Trump's chance of winning the Electoral College versus Joe Biden. No one was riding with Biden. Look at how bad Biden's polls were doing. Wait a second. My, hold on. My producer is telling me something. Oh, these are Kamala's polls now. Kamala isn't actually doing as bad as Joe Biden was doing. <laughs> oh, no. It's bad. Look at that. It's just as bad. It's, it's as bad as Biden. We predicted that Kamala Harris would eventually, because the fundamentals of the race haven't changed at all, because everything is terrible and in shambles in this country, and people aren't. Some people are dumb, uh, but most people aren't so stupid that like they're goldfish forget how to breathe, can't can't breathe unaided kind of stupid. And um, they'll remember that Kamala Harris ran with Joe Biden. Joe Biden is senile, has dementia, mental handicap. And so therefore, Kamala Harris was kind of like responsible for all of this. Right. And pe people are probably going to be angry at that. Look at this. Trump's chances of winning all the swing states are rocking, baby. Kamala Harris even saying it's we, we're the underdogs. He has the advantage to win the election. Good. Get used to it. Top pollster claims that the Kamala Harris honeymoon period is officially over. Nobody. I don't think anyone really had a honeymoon with Kamala Harris. Uh, if you know what I mean, if you know what I mean. Uh, the Kamala Harris honeymoon is officially over, even when Kamala Harris it does cringe campaign videos that are so performative and faked. Um, so like so much of Kamala's life, uh, they just come off just terrible. To give you a bag of pretzels to take back. Give me a bag of pretzels okay. to give okay. Doug. Because okay, he great. actually okay. would be really okay. upset if I did not bring him a So Because I can tell you that he like secretly eats pretzels at night. Does and he he's really? Like, and I'm like, okay. honey, you got to slow down well, on the pretzels. Just, <laughs> he can, <laughs> he can <laughs> steal okay, it. So. It's just only a few. Oh, my God. Oh, he's going to love this. Yeah, that's fair. Well, I, I will tell him. Thank, thank you so Oh, that's much. yum. Yeah, thank you. Yum. They must believe that the average American voter has extremely low intellect because it seems to me because Kamala Harris likes pretzels she should run the world because you know what I like pretzels too so that means she must be a good person how about you actually run a campaign ad that I don't know tells about your policy tells what you would do with the country how you would benefit people's lives but no they just think we're so stupid they like pretzels we like pretzels look at her she's so relatable she's such a cool woman these people must think we are absolute fools I don't know who on God's green earth sees this ad and says you know what? I want to vote for her. But that's what the Democrats are banking on because Kamala has only been seen once ever since she announced that she's taken over for Biden because she knows if she talks about policy, it's only going to end in disaster. The secret that I have a microphone on and we're filming this. That's how secret it is. Okay. You know, it's also very secret is exactly uh, how Kamala Harris gets anyone to go to her rallies. Buses, actually. Kamala Harris is obsessed with school buses and busing. And uh, Kamala Harris has to bus people into a round, sometimes from over four and a half hours away, like she did here in Savannah, Georgia. Here is in uh, Detroit. Kamala Harris also has to depend on massive buses to get people into her rally. You no, know, there's no no telling where those buses actually come from. Yeah, These but it's all have to be getting it's all paid. real. Uh, these Who's are the reasons these? why you see the uh, enthusiasm for Kamala Harris cratering through to the center of the earth. Uh, the honeymoon period officially over, says Frank Luntz, as President Trump takes a seven-point lead there in the prediction markets, along with the Rasmussen poll. Why would I show you all this? Well, because, you know, the people who are supposed to be voting for Kamala Harris are rejecting her. And this has been, and it's kind of sad, but, but kind of a um, truth about Kamala Harris's life. She has had those closest to her reject her. Uh, this is very, very sad when it comes to the family perspective. Here uh, is the top headline at the Daily Mail. Uh, her radical Marxist dad lives a mile from the White House but has never visited. He called her a travesty. Kamala's own father calls her a travesty. Here he is. Uh, Kamala Harris uh, has never invited her father, Donald Harris. Her dad's named Donald. <laughs> Donald. 
another Donald will be invited to the White House. Actually, Donald Trump should invite this guy, the two Donalds, to the White House. He called her a travesty. He's embarrassed about her. And the visitor logs show that he has never been invited to the White House. Kamala Harris only ever talks about her mother. Uh, and Kamala Harris uh, did that, does that for a good reason. Uh, because Kamala Harris's father abandoned her at a young age. And I don't really understand. I don't know the story behind all of that. But what I do know is obviously that's going to lead to some that's going to lead to some strife um, between the parties. But can't you reconcile? Maybe. I don't know. Wouldn't it be wouldn't you have the capacity to maybe like, I don't know, to do something other than uh Again, like per perfor performative speeches about your mom, like everyone was done hearing about Kamala Harris's mom, the DNC convention. But <laughs> here I, we, did, we didn't re actually realize how far the rabbit hole goes. A scientist, and her specialty was, in fact, breast cancer research. My mother had two goals in her life to raise her two daughters to be productive and to end breast cancer. And part of what my mother would do is she would take us to work with her on the weekends. That without any burden, without feeling any weight of thinking that we must blindly adhere to tradition and accept things, the knowing what can be unburdened by what has been. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> the way that this woman speaks is as if she has a moral superiority over all of us. Every single time I hear her speak, it's almost like she's lecturing us on how good of a human being that she is and how bad we are. We need to change because we're doing nasty, evil things. And in regards to the father, normally I would be like, you know what, it's personal, it's family matter. Let's keep that private. But if you're running for president of the United States, I think it's important to know that your own father never visits you, never talks to you, and he's not supporting you. I think that is very important details to know because it makes you wonder, why would he not? What is stopping him from doing so? Long, She has been uh, monopolizing that statement. Okay. So Kamala Harris has a, a strange relationship with her father. She said that she was a tra uh, he said that she was a travesty when she joked about smoking pot, but um, ended up locking up. Here's a photo of them, right? Uh, 19 year old cancer researcher from India. They married the following year, had Kamala in 1964 while living in Oakland. Um, uh, his, her father was born in 1938 in Jamaica, birthplace of Bob Marley. Hmm. Donald. Oh, Donald. So uh, Donald's a communist and uh, taught as a professor at Stanford, like many, like many communists. One of his published communist works was uh, dedicated to his daughters. Well, there you go. <laughs> but I guess not. I guess uh, his, com his his work lives on through Kamala Harris's actions. Kamala Harris slammed by Jamaican follower over pot smoking joke. She made a joke about smoking pot on the breakfast on the breakfast club. Pose legalizing weed. That's not true. I know. <laughs> and, and, and look, I joke about it, half joking. I have my family's from Jamaica. Are you kidding me? <laughs> have you ever smoked? I have. Okay. Like and I, and I inhaled. I did, in, I did inhale. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. All right. Got it. It was a long time ago. This is Kamala Harris. Uh, it's, it's really not... Um, that long ago that Kamala Harris was packing California prisons with pot peddlers. At least 1,500 people were sent to state prison for marijuana-related offenses. This is what got her dad uh, so irritated about this. Uh, her father called uh, this a, a travesty. The elder Harris sent an unsolicited statement uh, to Jamaica Global Online. Uh, my dear departed grand grandmothers whose extraordinary legacy I described a recent uh, website, as well as my deceased parents, must be turning over in their graves now, seeing their family name, reputation, and proud Jamaican identity being connected in any way, jokingly or not jokingly, with a fraudulent stereotype of a pot-smoking joy seeker in the pursuit of identity politics. Speaking for myself and my immediate Jamaican family, we wish to categorically disassociate ourselves from this travesty. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I did not realize the statement was so savage. And it's also savage that Kamala Harris can't keep any staff. This is also like just a this is also just like a basic sign of can people stand you. That is a staggering statistic. 90% of people who you've worked with have left you. What type of environment do you create where 90% of the people surrounding you leave? It's straight up astounding. 
And in regards to her father and the Jamaican heritage, I honestly think that she was only saying that to win over some voters. She'll say whatever it takes to garner a few more votes to win a couple voters. Because like we said before, oh, I smoke pot too. So I'm going to support Kamala. Like, don't you think that you should go around stating your stance on every single issue? That way people know where you line up and they can determine whether they want to support you on that or not. But no, what the Democrats and the left want to do, they want to make this election into a personality contest. Whose personality do you like better? Kamala, she likes pretzels and she likes smoking pot. So let's all vote for her in droves. No, we are not that stupid. We're going to vote on who makes our life better. And it is clear without a shadow of a doubt that four years ago, we were almost better in every single metric in this country. Economically, safety. We need to eject these people from the Oval Office because they are destroying our country day by day. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this down below. Do you think it's a big deal that Kamala's dad and Kamala have a rougher relationship? Or should that not be taken into consideration when you're entering the voting booth come November? Let me know. I'd love to know your thoughts on that. And if you enjoyed, make sure to smash that like, comment, subscribe, and wish you guys nothing but the best. Till next time.